Double headed hula popper. <laughs> Oh, he's got one. Landon has one. Is it big one? No, nope, definitely not. Big. Oh, <laughs> okay. We're on schooling fish, definitely not. Big okay, one. that's true. Oh wow, through that one. Look at that—a hybrid. Is that—is that lunchtime meal? Oh man, I don't play with these. Oh okay. As it's bleeding. Sure so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Biggin? We're gonna save the biggin for later. Oh, okay. That, that's, the, that's the play. We ain't gonna catch one in the morning. It's over like two pounds. But. With that attitude. <laughs> oh, hybrid. Uh, some uh, some uh, more lunch. Goodness gracious. Getting my plopper. I mean, my pop. My. Like oh, no junk. <laughs> I forgot the crankbaits like pull back sometimes. <laughs> rod going in. This is a mess. Professionals over here. This is a mess with a capital S. Uh, oh, I got one. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> that was a trash hook set, but hey, it's a bass. <clears throat> and that's why you throw the uh, the mega scoop. You get 16 hooks in them. Ah! Ah! Goodness gracious. 16 hooks in my face, too. Oh, Chase got one. So basically what we're doing today, guys, is uh, fishing for these schooling fish out here in the summer. So this power plant lake usually has hot water, right? What's the spotter temp? This isn't a power plant lake. It's not? <laughs> okay, this is not a power plant lake. This is just a regular lake, but it's a slot lake. Um, are you sure it's not a power plant lake? 100% sure. Okay, it's not a power plant lake, but there's power in my casts and that's that's what makes it a power plant like goodness gracious <clears throat> all right so basically what we're doing here is we're fishing for these schooling fish that are schooled up out here for some reason 30 feet of water on uh on balls of shad and we we're just talking to chase said the shatter about this big the size of a storm swim bait so i'm throwing the mega spook still catching fish landon's throwing a uh, a 5xd crankbait so hopefully we can get on some more fish and hopefully a big one as well we found them folks they're everywhere, <laughs> not on our hooks. What? It's not a bad, well, no, it's not a good I one. Can't complain, that's for sure. They got one, everybody's got one. Exactly. You get a bass, and you get a bass. Yep. So the guys, they stopped biting the mega spooks, so we're switching to crankbaits. Fatty, oh, there he goes. Got him. White bass. Yep. Catching the small ones. But you know what? I really feel like I'm not getting a hook in my hand, so. Yeah, looking good, Chase. Looking good. Chase is going to show us the hatch to match. What are they? I can't see it. There it is. That's perfect. Like, literally perfect. Wow. Huh. All right, well, let's start throwing these. I agree. Oh, Got one. take that, Landon. Yeah. <clears throat> Lunkerville. Lunkerville. Oh, yeah. Oh. On the minner. Well, guys, we switched off to a little storm minnow, as you saw, because that's what the basically the shatter looking like. And got a tiny. Little largemouth. On this power plant lake. Got him. Yeah, you do. Got him. Now that's why we weren't getting many bites. Uh -huh. Fish were bigger than the baits. Wait, the baits are bigger than fish. Yeah. There you go. We bounce. 
There we go. Not too bad there. Not bad at all. A bunch of salad. Yeah, hopefully we'll get up here and get the big. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Or <laughs> better than what we've been getting. On the frog. Well, I say that it's about the same size. Yeah, that's true. But hey, another fish. Yeah, another one. Okay. We love it. Oh my gosh, that's huge. That's like a full. He's still, he's still going. He's, where's my spook? No, I took off my spook. I quit. That's a four pounder. I quit. Like, are you serious? Gracious. <laughs> Enough. Had enough. Oh. Set the hook and it jiggles. All right, no more chest mount today. I wasn't even. I wasn't even recording on this camera. Great. You got any flukes? Yeah, 100% honestly, So the issue that we're running into right now, folks at home, is the fish aren't biting, which is always a well, always a really tough issue. You got to figure out what the fish want to bite. And we kind of went out deep through big worms for a little while. We came up shallow through a frog. And we kind of landed on the fact that they're not biting very well. So we're going to have to go shallow and just junk fish. We're going to throw wacky sinkos, flukes. I might throw this little VM uh, hightail shad just to try to get some bites for you guys. Because something you guys don't get the chance to see on YouTube is most YouTubers fish private waters just because we have to catch fish for you guys for the viewers at home. But I'd much rather be on a lake testing my skills and becoming a better fisherman. And days like this happen when you get out here and catch squat. So uh, hopefully we can get you guys a big fish. So it is not two minutes past the time and I just explained how the day's going. And we literally gave this fisherman and a ranger with two power poles, if you guys know him at Athens, give him a hard time because we gave him all the room in the world. He's crappie fishing with a crappie jig. We went through the lily pads to be out of his way and uh, he literally got on plane 15 feet from our boat and swamped our boat and uh, yeah I'll show you guys the back of the boat hopefully this wind noise isn't, isn't too bad but uh, look at that got the back of the boat all wet guys if you're out there just be nice to people on the water there's no reason to get mad I mean he could have like done some worse damage to our boat if he went out of control and if you have a problem with somebody say words with your mouth, yeah, use your mouth. goodness gracious That's a fish. Is it? Ah! Oh, was it really? Little Dinker. <laughs> Little Dinker was messing with me. <laughs> Is that a fish? Oh, that's not a bad one. There we go. <laughs> what kind of a fish? What, what kind of a hooks that was that? That was crazy. Oh, man. Fish all day. Oh, yeah. Free the boat. Well, boys and girls, there we go. I don't know if that camera was able to uh, capture the hook set because. <laughs> That was wonky, but hey, first two straight two pounder of the day on the Cinco, or on the uh, the V and M chopstick, good deal. This one's going on the Instagram story. All right, Let's see, amigo. Oh, All right, we're gonna end the day on a fish catch. There's like three of them. Oh, monster, monster. All well, right, everybody, what do you know? We caught a Look fish. At that. Oh, it's a bass. And it's, it's a bass. Fishing. So true. I love how you do the little like half flip. Oh yeah, you gotta send him, send him going. Send him going straight down. It's like a diver, you know. Oh, it's been a rough day when you got like 12 rods laid. <laughs> so true. Well, everybody, that is the end of the day. We're out here at the ramp once again. If you guys want to check out Landon's channel, will be linked below. Thanks to him for taking me out. We had a blast. Hopefully, before I leave, there goes the wind. I'm sure the wind noise is just great. Before I leave uh, from Pineco, I'm sure we're gonna hit the lake sometime Absolutely. again soon. But guys, not every day is your day. You know, you're gonna go out there and I'm sure you guys know you're gonna catch zero fish, but hey, we caught like yeah, 12 we, fish. We struggled into a couple. We got a few fish, but no biggins. So uh, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you guys next time.